Newman, what would you like to drink? I've got a gin and tonic. Yes, that's right. Is that the soft drink? Some fizzy water or some iced water? water with just water. Oh, uh, ice and lemon? No, just water. So for a starter, we have a festival of fresh fish, served in a choice of organic biscuit or toaster Bianca. That sounds delicious. I can't read what it, the Bianca bit is, but not to worry. I thought we were starting with mackerel pate, not That's a festival of fish. Um, I thought we had loads of mackerel pate, but there you go, because I love mackerel pate, it's really nice. Well, toaster Bianca is just white toast, isn't it? I think it's toaster Bianca. Yeah, whatever. That's the right sort, isn't it? Yeah, here it goes. Fillet of corn-fed chicken infused with tomato, black olives and Spanish chorizo. Fillet of corn-fed chicken infused with tomato, black olives. Sounds fantastic. Chicken in tomato sauce. With warm, crusty bread. Should we place up in here? I no, think I think... Better, I think it's better at plating in here. No, no, room. I think... Sure? Sure? Absolutely sure. White toast for a starter and warm crusty bread for a main. <laughs> Minor apple crumble, I wonder where that came from. <laughs> and apple crumble that was from somebody else's house. Locally sourced. I think they nicked it. Have you ever had a new there we are. Thank you, and I'll have a bit of cold custard. Cream and Dad, please may I have a big bit? <laughs> I can't read that. Russian earth, earth. What? I'm sorry, earth, eggs. Oof, the pucks. What the heck's that? Easter eggs! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Can I stop now? It's not looking good. That all sounds lovely. That sounds perfect. I um, think it's a winner, really, isn't it? Really looking forward to. Um, the one meal you've actually cooked. Right. It's my favourite. Yes. Well done. Well done. Especially um, homemade. Yeah. It's a secret um, recipe, so I can't reveal all the details. No, no, I'm sure. <laughs>my absolute favorite I do like Mexican food it's my favorite yeah, I like um, and I think you can't go wrong no you can't it looks wraps. delicious doesn't it chicken wraps beautiful. yeah and, chick uh, and um, New York cheesecake baked cheesecake oh I mean, what a combination it really is a triumph 
it just yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking yeah, forward to it with a, mm. with a huge amount of anticipation it's menu I haven't got my glasses but I believe it's a, a spicy chicken or something with fajitas <laughs> no but never mind <laughs> never mind <laughs> uh, oh a topping of my choice lovely pudding New York cheesecake served <laughs> with <laughs> <a> <laughs> <spot>. <laughs> oh, I think this is looking good no no what's wrong with the chef <laughs> No, I'm just going. I'm going in for a close-up. Oh, that looks de looks delicious. Oh, this is not sour cream. We didn't have any, so you have to. Yeah, well, you can get it out there pretty quickly. I mean, because we, you can just hire. They've bitten off more than they could chew, haven't they? In a wrap with many toppings, a good choice. Would be nice if I knew what I was eating. <laughs> 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 uh, very New York cheese cake served with a smile. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit desperate, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just like the surf with cream. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Mexican there chicken so in a wrap so with many toppings of your choice. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not doing the cooking. It's up to them to decide what, what the topping is. So that's Mark and Dan in my book for a start. Have a look in there, like the things to make it sour cream. The menu for tonight. I get a close up of the chicken. Oh, I've dropped the camera here. Starting with um, the first meal that we had, um, uh, although it, the company was very pleasant um, and the people very nice, I was slightly disappointed by the fact that um, hardly any of the food presented was actually cooked by the two chefs. The double bread, the double Bianco bread, the double white bread thing, I wasn't keen, I'll be honest, um, but that chicken. That was lovely, lovely, lovely flavour, loved it. Um, they stole food from another person's house. There was no entertainment and I was very disappointed. And they only really cooked one meal. I found there was just too much bread. I couldn't eat it all. This is for Zoe and Chris. I've given you eight because some of it was slightly um, second hand. Apart from that, it was grand. A five. Six out of ten. A seven. Seven out of ten. The Insanity Burgers, they were delicious. They had bacon, cheese, coleslaw, and also Paul rustled up some bacon and cheesy pastry things, which like everything I love in life. The feta salad was delicious, the insanity burger was incredible, I had two of those. And then the fire alarm started, it was just all too much. Once, yes, okay, I forgive them, it's not their fault, it was just too much smoke. The second died just off for no reason, and the third, I don't know, it was just annoying. Then everyone had to rush outside with their ears over them, their ears over the hands over their ears found that these things were out of their control, the smoke alarm was not their <laughs> fault and the burgers not being cooked was one of the uh, diners being very fussy. <laughs> For Tracy and Paul it's a nine because the lovely Mifui, delicious insanity burgers and a fantastic starter, slightly down scored because of the awful smoke alarm that went off in the middle of the meal. I didn't like that. We're doing Paul and Tracy and I give them nine and three quarters because it was fabulous. Uh, eight. So I decided to give them a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give them a 10, so well done to both of you. I gave them a 10. However, there was a fire alarm and I was very, very disappointed with this. So that's why it drops, unfortunately, down to a 9. Then after, I've forgotten the reason why, <laughs> but for some reason it good. drops down to an 8. Possibly because there wasn't enough of the bacon things. Tonight's meal was amazing, it was absolutely delicious. Uh, Mexican food is a, a great favourite of mine and they really did it justice. A chorizo chicken, beautifully cooked, beautifully presented. The entertainment was brilliant, um, the games were uh, highly enjoyable. Great atmosphere, but they did need a bit of guidance. But they did do a lot of chopping, but they did need a lot of support material. Great teamwork, lovely atmosphere around the table, everyone getting on, uh, they were really sociable and friendly. Great, amazing flavour.
Now we're doing the under 20s with a little help from some of the over 20s, but not a lot. And they did a fantastic job, especially the service, I thought was wonderful. And I give them nine. 11 out of 10. It's a 10 for me, for the under 20s. Fantastic. An eight out of 10. Nine. A 10 and a half. I hear that the meal that Chris and Zoe made earlier in the week was an absolute car crash and <laughs> sorry. <laughs>